What's going on y'all? Wild Country here, back on the road, headed to McClintock Campground. Uh, be meeting my daughter over there. Uh, clouds are finally starting to break up, so I'm hoping for a dry night, do a little camping, do a little fishing. Um, that section of the Pestigo River is pretty shallow, so I usually don't catch much there. Maybe the occasional small trout, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway, so on the road we go. Turn left on road. All right, we are arriving at McClintock Campground. Arriving at McClintock Campground, on right. We're gonna go ahead, do a quick drive through, see what we got open for sights. So far, I'm not seeing anybody here, which might make for a good night. I kind of like it when I got the campground to myself, so with a little bit of luck, that will be the case. I am not seeing anybody here at all. That's nice. This is one of my favorite campsites. And what most people don't know is this campground is allegedly haunted. Back in 1976, there were two people just got engaged and were celebrating their engagement here at the campground, ended up getting murdered and ever since then, legend has it that the campground and the park connected to it are both haunted. So, I'm going to go ahead. I think we're going to grab site four. We got camp set up. I'm gonna go ahead and start collecting up the firewood. Okay, so I didn't so much gather firewood as I did purchase it this time, just because it's a lot easier. All right, so we got camp set up. Firewood prepped and ready to go, so I think I'm going to go ahead, head down to the river, do a little fishing while I wait for my daughter to show up, so let's see if we catch anything today.
Daddy! How long have you been here? Oh, I just got here. How uh, was the drive? A little long, but not bad. Oh, good, good. How was fishing? It sucked. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Alright, so YouTube, this is my daughter Asia. Asia, that's YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now, um, we're just going to kind of hang out around camp. We might go out and do a little bit of fishing here in a little bit. I, I obviously didn't catch shit earlier, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try again. Um, Asia's actually making dinner for us tonight, so... Yeah, I'm making pudgy pies. I have no idea what that is. But you're going to learn. We're going to give it a shot anyway, so we're going to hang out, relax, shoot the shit for a little bit, and we'll be back when we start cooking. <clears throat> All right, so we got skunked well fishing. I didn't catch anything before Asia got here. I didn't catch anything after Asia got here, so I guess you're I didn't not, catch anything. Yeah, you're not my good luck. No, <laughs> I have terrible luck. <laughs> but it is getting cold out. The sun's starting to set, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get the fire going. Uh, we're going to give it some time to get some hot coals going in there that we can cook off of, and then we'll be back because Asia's cooking dinner tonight. So for now, let's go ahead and get this fire going. So we're back. We got a nice fire going. Like I said, we ain't catch shit while fishing, but at this point, we're going to start cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and let Asia take it away with the cooking. All right. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to be making pudgy pies. I learned this many years ago, and I do it every time we have a campfire. So don't mind me getting up and getting the stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we got the camp cookers here on the table. I'm just gonna open them up so you have access to put the bread and fillings on the inside. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two slices of bread per camp cooker and put one on each side of the camp cooker. I'm gonna do two here, one for me, one for dad. Um, most of the time, if you don't have the nonstick ones, you want to use some butter or a like can of Pam spray. Next, you're going to take some marinara sauce once the bread is inside the cooker, and you're going to scoop it out and spread it inside one of the pieces of bread. So you're going to do that to both. So now the fun part comes. Hey, that second one is yours because I don't want that chunk on it. I don't either, so <laughs> in the fire. <laughs> All right, so now that we have the sauce, it is time to add the cheese. I use regular mozzarella. You can use pizza cheese as well if you can find it. I just never have been able to find it after the one time. How much cheese do you want? That looks good. Maybe okay. I'll, yeah, put what, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> put, put, put that all. Everybody likes their own the amount of cheese. Put the cheese on the cheese. Put the cheese on the cheese? Put the cheese on the cheese for the cheese is sitting on a sauce, so there's a lot of cheese going on. Okay, I got it. I already did the cheese though, so. All right. All right, all right. All now right. we're pepperoni getting into the then. pepperoni. So if you can't tell what we're making is we are making a pizza pudgy pie. And you can add as many fillings as you really want. I'm just good with pepperoni because I am a picky ass eater. And if I don't like that, I got hot dogs in the cooler. So just I, I, back up it's, plan. It's going to be delicious. Though. Always have a plan B. So then once you have the toppings inside, you are going to take the other slice of bread that you put on the other side of the camp cooker and put it on top. If you try to just attach the two sides of the camp cooker with bread loose, it's going to be a bad time. So then there's edges where you put the camp cooker together and you're going to close it. 
making it like a little oven. And then there is a little hook that you're going to mount shut. Now, once I get both of these together, we will be able to put them in the fire and get cooking. All right. So now that we have everything in the camp cookers, what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a space on your campfire, bonfire, whatever you are doing, where there is hot coals. And you are going to set the cooker on top. And you're going to give it a few minutes because at this point, you've got to give it time to warm up, get the bread toasted, melt the cheese, get it all nice and gooey. In a couple of minutes, we are going to flip it. Oh shit. Is that the one with the pepperoni? Yep. Oh. We can make... I'll eat the shit out of that. I was gonna say we can make a different one. No, I'll eat the shit out of that. Okay, yeah, that's hot that's hot. I told you. <laughs> no, you did too. You do, that's hot, dumbass. Put that down, let that cool down. Ooh, I barked my mouth <laughs> and my lip. And I woke up our camp neighbor. Ooh. I'll be damned if that's not good, though. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. It tastes like pizza, but. Not. It's like a pizza grilled cheese. Yeah. Yeah. That is fucking good. I'm still gonna let that shit cool down a little bit, but that is good. You guys gotta try that. What's it called? A pudgy pie. A pudgy pie. You guys gotta try the pudgy pie. That that's good. Holy hell. Yeah, this is good as hell. Okay, that was fucking good, and I need another one. Well, I showed you how to make it, didn't I? I don't remember. <laughs> Fine, I'll make you another. Number two. This shit is fucking good. You gotta fucking try this. This, this is fucking, this is good for you. This is fucking good. Look at this a little bit. I fucking got it. Man, I'm soaking. Alright, so food was good. We're hanging out around a campfire. Gonna drink a couple of beers, smoke a little bit, and watch Scooby Doo uh, meet Supernatural. So. We'll be back in a little bit when we get ready to go to bed, so we'll holler at you guys then. All right, that's about it for tonight. We're going to get ready to lay it down, let the fire burn down a little bit. So we'll holler at you guys in the morning. All right, YouTube, we're in the tents now, laying it down for the night. Uh, we made s'mores earlier. That was quite fun, so... Um, Anyway, we're laying it down. We'll holler at you guys in the morning. All right, well, we're back. It's morning. A little bit chilly this morning, but we're about to get some hot coffee going. And I think we might go ahead and break all of this down. And then I'll be headed to the next location. But first, we gotta have coffee. Coffee is a must have.
coffee's a must-have in the morning. All right, so drink a little bit of coffee, break all this crap down, and then we're back on the road. All right, well, that was a nice little trip. It was nice to see my daughter on the trip. So at this point, we are headed to Bagley Rapids. Uh, she might meet us there a little later. I uh, also got a buddy from work, Frank. He might meet us up there. So we are headed to- one miles. Then turn right on CRI. We are headed to CRI. But we're headed to uh, Bagley Rapids. And uh, we'll see how many people turn show right on up. CRI. We've got about two to three people, I think, that might meet us up there. So we're headed up there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and click the bell icon to make sure you're notified of upcoming videos from Wild Country Adventures.